Mm. All right, Meg, wait here. I'll be right back. Hi there, Britney Spears. You mind if I go in? Oh, uh, not at all, Miss Spears. Oh, call me Peter. Hey there, fellas. Britney, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, you know, I was just in the neighborhood, and uh, I'm gonna steal one of your beers, and uh, figured I'd stop by and say hi. You mind if I have a seat? Uh, I am out of shape. Say, uh, Justin, I got a favor to ask you. What is it? I got a hole in my car's muffler, and I need something to plug it with. Can I have some of your hair? Um, I guess so. Oh, great. Thanks. All right, hold still now. Ah! Ah, you'll be fine. Hey, come here. Give me a kiss. Ah! Here's your martini, ma'am. Thanks. Hey, it's gone. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Here's another one. What the hell is going on here? Hi, can I get some pretzels or something? I, I just, I gotta, I gotta drive. Whoa, hey, did you bring enough breasts for the rest of the class? <laughs> hey, Hector, how long have we known each other? Since first grade. Yeah, yeah. You remember that time you called me Chris Gristle? I think so. Well, burn for it! <laughs> It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a lower middle class Irish family. Coming up next, can bees think? A new study confirms that no, they cannot. Citizens of Quahog, we have a problem. You're damn right we do. Peter Griffin stole my hair. Settle down, Jeffrey. Justin. Mike. Clearly the Griffin family is out of control, but not to fear. I've tangled with super beings before, and they can be stopped. You can't stop us, Mayor West. We are all powerful. Clearly, you've let yourselves become drunk with power. Silence! <laughs> we demand obedience! Or else! Is that all you can do? Ow! That kind of hurt. God, is that bleeding? No, no, I guess it's all right. Ouch, though! Anyone who opposes our demands will be destroyed. Our first demand, you will erect a statue in the town square. This statue will depict Blair Warner admitting to Mrs. Garrett that the poem she submitted for her creative writing class was actually plagiarized from a work by Emily Dickinson. We have spoken! Ah! That's it. We have to fight fire with fire. If nuclear refuse gave them superpowers, it could do the same for me. Citizens, I'm off to the toxic waste dump. Mayor West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. Oh, no, that's not what Mrs. Garrett's bosom looked like. It looked more like this. Notice the sunspots at the top of the right can. Excuse me, I have a message from the Quahog Hospital. Oh, well, I just feel awful about this, Mayor West. Yeah, me too. Stewie, fluff his pillows. <laughs> I'll heat up his soup. And I'll go to China to see if there's a cure. Nope. No, no. The doctor says I'm gonna make a full recovery. The important thing is you learned your lesson. I can't believe we let those superpowers go to our heads. I feel like such a bastard. Me too. Well, for now, we are going to use our powers to help you get better. Thank you. But as long as I have Mrs. Garrett's giant rack by my bedside, I'll be all right. Girls, girls, girls! <laughs> <laughs> I call to order the first meeting of the We Hate Broads Club. Yes! Because all you need in life is your best pals. Sure, as long as those pals ain't names. Okay. What was that? Hey, I thought we told you guys to quit snooping around here. But we need to find a story if I'm ever going to be a big-time reporter, man. All right, all right. Make like Siamese twins and split. And, and then one of you die. When do we have the grape juice? I came for the grape juice. Hey, Quagmire, watch this. Hey, kick me! <coughs> Boys and girls, we have a new student joining us this morning. Her name is Lois Pewterschmidt. Ugh, just what we need, another girl. You said it. Wow, 
I'd like to play doctor with her and, and remove her inflamed appendix before it bursts, causing sepsis. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Hey, Lois, what you reading? A red badge of courage. Huh. I sure wish I could meet a brave fellow like the guy in this book. You know, uh, I'm a brave guy, Lois. Oh, yeah? I bet you're not brave enough to laugh at death. Watch me. <laughs> oh, thanks. Like I don't have enough trouble fitting in. I bet you're not brave enough to take all your clothes off. Lay ahead of you. Out! Well, I bet you're too chicken to spend the night at the old Selberg place. Uh, Cleveland, you mind stepping out of the way? Oh, sorry. Well, I ain't chicken to spend the night there. Well, I ain't neither. And to prove it, I'm going up there tonight. So you're there, pal. You can't stay in that house. Old man Selberg's ghost still haunts it. Not to mention the myriad of bacteria and allergens from years of substandard housekeeping. It does not augur well for you. Oh, zip it, egghead. You with your big words and your... and your... your small, difficult words. Wow. Any boy who would spend the night in that creepy place sure would be the bravest fella I ever met. That Lois is some kind of woman. Yeah, just thinking about her makes my testicles want to drop. Oop, speak of the devil. Oop, make that devil's. All right. Quagmire's team will take the left side of the house, and Peter's team will take the right. And whoever's alive in the morning can bury his dead pals. Do I have a cobweb in my hair? It feels like I have a cobweb in my hair. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's just Michael Winslow from Police Academy. <laughs> This house gives me the creeps. Yeah, let's get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. We can't let those guys win. What we ought to do is pretend we're ghosts, see? And then we'll scare the other guys out of the house. Then we can say that we spent the night, and everyone will think that we're the bravest kids in the world, especially Lois. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, I got a great idea. This'll really scare him. Everybody set? Check. Check. <laughs> Suck it to me! Oh, 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 oh. If we only had a teacup, this would be like playing find the teacup in the bedsheet like I do with my Aunt Sophia. God, not only are ghosts real, but their innards are made of children. Peter, it's us! <laughs> Say, that's a nice effect. Yeah, that's really scary. Wait a second. If you're there, and I'm here, and Istanbul is somewhere in this general area, then who the hell is that? <laughs> Get used to this sight, Diane. Guy's running away from you. Tom, you're so deep in the closet, you're finding Christmas presents. Ah! All right, now remember our story. We tell Lois that we both stayed all night, and I caught the ghost with my lasso. Yeah, yeah, and I punched him so hard he ran crying all the way back to hell. She'll have to believe that. It hangs together so perfectly. Our top story today, cowardly kids lay down rubber at the old Selberg place. Wait, 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 turn that up. Peter Griffin and Glenn Quagmire were seen bolting... were seen bolting out of the supposedly haunted house after just one half hour, leaving only their pride and twin trails of urine behind them. Ah, oh, cheese and crackers. Now Lois will know everything. Not if I can help it. Ring, ring. Newsroom. Hello, this is Peter Griffin. You better stop saying that stuff or we're gonna watch something else. Today on The View, Cooties, the silent killer. <laughs> Lois, there's something we gotta tell you. Yeah, we didn't stay in the haunted house. We're not brave. Oh, I decided I don't care about bravery. You, you don't? don't? No, I realized what I really like is smarts. Sorry I'm late, darling. I was checking my stool for blood. Mark, Mark Goldman. Goldman! He's so clever. Show him, Morty. Ooh. 